This is Stop the Press, a headline prediction with a supermarket tabloid like The Globe or The National Enquirer. You hand a sealed envelope containing a prediction to a bystander, a page from the tabloid is torn into pieces and the spectator selects one of the pieces. Headlines on other pieces are all shown different. Uh, the headline on that would have been like your personal horoscope or strange but true, right? Mm -hmm. If you'd have done one less, uh, we would have had a, a headline that says evil twin or something there like that. Um, so any one of these that you stopped out would, would have got a, a rupee launches medical whatever. Mm -hmm. So you would have got a different headline. Mm -hmm. The spectator gets to choose a headline from either side of the piece they chose. Uh, you then open up your prediction and it's found to be correct. Would you pick a headline from either side of that piece and read it aloud for everyone to hear? Kelly's custody battle gets nasty. Oh, Kelly's custody battle gets nasty. And my prediction was... <gasps> Kelly's custody battle. <laughs> so it's a great audience participation piece and an excellent source of topical humour. I'm sure you've all heard about fake news. I've uh, <laughs> been talked quite a bit about these days. Uh, I'd like to show you something using some real news. The National Enquirer. <laughs> it has some of the best headlines in the world. I mean, where else are you going to ever see a headline that says, Headless Body Found in Topless Bar? <laughs> Uh, there's no complicated gimmicks, slides, or calculations involved. Oh, need I add that it packs small, plays big, it's easy to reset, and the effect, well, the effect on an audience is remarkable. Alcoran closed with it, and it's been in the uh, programs of such notables as Dunninger, David Burglas, and uh, even Max Maven. This is the best fake news ever. <laughs>